What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online and today we did receive an update on both platforms PS4 and Xbox One. I will list these patch notes for both platforms down in the description below. The Xbox update was around 21 gigs. The PS4 update was around 7.5 gigs. The first thing that they talked about within this update was excavation changes. They updated the tooltip for excavation abilities to more clearly indicate how much dirt they remove in what shape and how the abilities interact with one another at a dig site and kind of how they interact with the dig site. When it comes to leads, the leads for the following antiquities will now drop properly from the intended source, the Heartland lead, the Moth Priest Cleansing Bowl, the Sap Stone, and the Triangle Truth Altar. They also fixed an issue where antiquity leads were only being found in treasure chest with simple locks. They now can be found in treasure chest of all lock difficulties and the treasure chests with tougher locks are more likely to have leads in them. So if you like to farm chests, now you will have a better chance of finding these leads considering the leads will drop from all chests. And like I said, or like they said here in the patch notes, uh, chests with tougher locks will have a better chance to drop those leads. One thing they changed up in Western Skyrim was they added two new way shrines uh, closer to the northernmost Horror Storm ritual sites which is a big improvement in my opinion because if you farm horror storms in western skyrim you will know that those top two northernmost uh, horror storms are really not really difficult but take a long time to get to from the way shrines that we have in game before this update so that is definitely a quality of life improvement for people that like to uh, farm those horror storms quickly also when it comes to horror storms they will no longer have a chance to get into a stuck state and prevent the storm from forming. When it comes to quest, the quest bound in blood, if your character dies in the crypt, you will, now, uh, you will no longer be blocked from going through the crypt vault door. And also, they did do some updates to the puzzle uh, in one of the quests in Western Skyrim. You will, now be more ac you will now have more accurate information on your map during the door puzzle. Now when it comes to Alliance War and PvP, they fixed an issue where you could revive in place using uh, unintended ways. Uh, also, art and animation fixes, uh, they fixed some of the uh, ribbons and now correctly, the, correctly display the rainbow trail, fixed a vis visual issue where some ground textures could appear blurry until reloaded, and fixed an issue where characters could clip into their nameplates after transforming. When it comes to the crown store, they fixed an issue where some uh, card displays or cards displayed while opening nightfall crates would appear blank, and they fixed an issue where the Mournhold pack rats description did not inform you that purchasing the pet would increase inventory space. So if you guys did not know, I have had that pet for a while. I don't think it's on this character right now. But between the boar and the pack rat, you will get five inventory slots each added to all characters that you have. So if you have both of those pets, you will get 10 inventory slots or 10 inventory additional inventory slots. I'll get it out here in a second, excuse me. But those 10 slots will apply to all characters and you do not have to have those pets active. So you, as long as you own those two pets or either one of those pets, you will get five slots each for each pet. Now when it comes to miscellaneous fixes, they, fixes, uh, they fixed a crash that would occur if a non-combat pet tried to crouch before or during or before being fully loaded also they fixed an issue where textures could shift their position with within pack files uh, potentially causing the download size of a patch to be larger than necessary fixed a crash that occur, uh, could occur during the player trades in rare situations and made some improvements for situations where you could get a random load screen anyway guys a lot of this stuff was some just kind of bug fixes and quality of life changes with the two editions of the way shrines and they're just kind of updating some information, kind of like we talked about with the pack rats. So you know exactly what you're purchasing. But overall, it's a pretty good update in my opinion. It did fix some of the problems. I think the best thing was, of course, adding those two waste shrines, like I said, in Western Skyrim, if you would like to farm or if you're a person that likes to farm horror storms. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate on the channel, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.